partnership operations, division of profits and losses. The partnership law provides that profits and losses are to be divided in accordance with the partner's agreement. Ibig sabihin, laging magpre-prevail ang agreement ng partnership sa pag-distribute ng profits and losses. If no agreement is made between and among the partners, profits and losses are to be divided according to their original capital contributions. If ever man na walang agreement na nakastate sa partnership law na kung paano kakatiin ang losses and profits ng mga partners, ang profits and losses are to be divided sa kanila according to their original capital contributions. Original cap capital contributions meaning yung total capital na ininvest nila nung nag-form sila ng partnership. Doon ibabase ang pagdidistribute ng profits and losses sa partners. Should the partners agree to divide the profits only? Losses, if any, are to be divided in the same manner as that of dividing the profits. If ever naman na ang nakalagay lang sa agreement ng partnership ay agreement lang sa pagdi-divide ng profits only, hindi naka-indicate kung paano hahatiin ang losses, kapag nagkaroon ng loss ang partnership, ang losses ay hahatiin sa partners in the same manner, meaning kung ano ang agreement sa profit, Ganun din ang agreement as ganun din ang agreement once na nagkaroon ng losses. Losses ay i-distribute according sa agreement ng partnership sa pag-distribute ng profit. Parehas lang sila. Should the partners agree to divide the losses only profits if any shall be divided by the partners according to their capital contributions. Original capital contributions. Kanina, yung diniskas natin, ang agreement kapag naka-state lang sa partnership agreement ay distribution ng profits, any loss na ma ma-incur ng partnership is i-distribute based dun sa agreement nila sa part sa profit distribution. Ngayon naman, if ever man na naka-state lang sa partnership is agreement lang sa losses distribution at walang naka-indicate kung paano i-distribute ang profit, ang profit ay i-divide according sa kanilang original capital contributions. Industrial partners shall not be liable for losses because he cannot withdraw the work or labor already done by him. Unlike the capitalist partner who can withdraw their capital, ang industrial partner ay hindi siya liable sa losses. Meaning, kapag nagkaroon ng partnership ng loss at merong industrial partner sa partnership, ang industrial partner is wala siyang isa shoulder na loss. Yung mga capitalist partner lang ang mag shoulder ng loss ng partnership. Ang pinaka loss ng industrial partner is Ang industrial partner ay siya yung partner na nagre-render ng service or expertise sa partnership. Meaning, siya yung kumikilos. And ang pinaka-share niya sa losses ng partnership is yung effort niya sa, or yung expertise or yung effort or yung service na nirender niya sa partnership. Kumbaga, nag-render siya ng service and expertise for a loss. Kumbaga parang nasayang yung effort niya. So, yun yung share ng industrial partner sa loss. Possible methods of dividing net income or loss. Okay, paano ba hinahatin ng partnership or paano ba binidistribute ng partnership ang profit sa mga partners? Una, pwedeng equally lang. Napakasimple. Kung ang profit ay 100 pesos and lima ang partners at ang agreement nila equally, meaning kada isang partner ay makakareceive ng 20 pesos. Pwede in an unequal or arbitrary ratio. Pwede in the ratio of capital balances and 
marami yung possible kapag ang ratio ng capital balances ang basis sa profit distribution. Pwedeng original capital balances, pwedeng beginning, pwedeng ending, or pwede ring average capital balances. Meron ding allowing interest on capital balances on the partnership and dividing the remaining income or loss. Pwede ring allowing salaries to it salaries to partners and dividing the remaining income or loss or pwede ring magkasama. Combination ng interest and salaries. At yung pang-anim, yung nag-aalat sila ng bonus to managing partner. So ito yung mga possible methods of dividing net income and loss sa partnership. Assume that on January 1, 2018, C and Chu form a partnership. With an investment of 30,000 and 60,000, 30,000 by C and 60,000 by Chu. On December 31, after closing all income and expense accounts, the income summary account shows a credit balance of 60,000 pesos, representing profit for the year 2019. Changes in the capital accounts during 2019 are summarized as follows. Okay, so meron tayong sample problem dito and ang profit ng partnership ay 60,000 pesos and nakalagay dito yung capital balances ng partners as of January 1, and investments, withdrawals, and yung ending capital balance nila noong December 31, 2019. Prepare journal entry to record division of net income for 2019 under the following independent cases. So, application siya ngayon ng profit distribution and ia-apply natin itong mga possible methods of dividing net income or loss sa partnership. Okay. Ang net income ay 60,000 pesos and hahatiin siya ni Partner C and Partner Q. Okay, so ito yung mga given na available doon doon sa sample problem na binasa natin kanina. We have the original capital balances nung date of formation ng partnership, January 2018. And we have the capital balances, investments, withdrawals, and capital balance ending ni partner C and partner Q. Net income for the year is 60,000 pesos na paghahatian ni C and Q. And first situation is partnership agreement divide profit and loss equally. So kapag naka-state sa partnership na ang profit and loss ay i-divide sa partners equally, we just simply Iko consider natin ang net income na 60,000 pesos and i-divide natin sa number of partners. Ngayon, dito sa dito sa situation number 1, divide profit and loss equally. So yung 60,000 pesos na net income is paghahatian siya ni C and ni Q. By how much? Kay C, 60,000 pesos divided by 2. Dalawa lang naman silang partners, si C and si Q. 60,000 divided by 2, 30,000. Same with partner Q, 30,000 pesos. And to record the entry for profit distribution, i-debit natin ang income summary, i-close na natin ang profit na nakalagay sa income summary na 60,000 pesos credit C and two drawing accounts C drawing Q drawing tig 30,000 sila so ito yung entry to record the profit distribution sa partnership ni C and Q okay what if ang partnership agreement ay naka-state na unequal or arbitrary ratio? 60% ng profit kay C, 40% ng profit kay Q. So, si C, 
partner ay makakareceive ng 60% ng profit. So, the net income is 60,000 times 60% kay C. Ang share niya sa net income ng partnership ay 36,000 pesos. And kay Q, 60,000 times 40%. 24,000 pesos. To record the profit distribution, debit income, summary, credit, C, and Q, drawing accounts, 60,000, 36,000 kay C, and 24,000 kay Q. So, dalawang independent case sa tayo. So, una yung equal distribution ng profit sa partners and yung unequal or arbitrary ratio. Case number three, ratio of original capital contributions. So, ang original capital contributions meaning yung total capital contributions ng bawat partner nung time na nag-form ang partnership. So, eto, ang partnership ay nag nabuo nung January 1, 2018 wherein si C ay nag-invest ng 30,000 and si Chu 60,000 pesos. And ito yung magiging basehan natin sa pag-distribute ng net income na 60,000 pesos. Kukunin natin ngayon ang ratio ng original capital contributions. Ratio of original capital contributions si C, 30,000 si Chu, 60,000 30 is to 60 we're in 30 yung kay C and kay Chu yung 60 30 plus 60 equals 90,000 pesos. Okay. Si C ay makaka-receive ng 60,000 times 30,000 divided by yung total 90,000. 60,000 times 30,000 divided by 90,000 20,000 pesos. Si Q ay makaka-receive ng 60,000 times 60 divided by 90 60 times 60,000 divided by 90,000 equals 40,000 pesos to record income summary credit C and Q drawing accounts 60,000 sa income summary debit C drawing 20,000 ah, Sorry, credit C drawing 20,000 Credit Q drawing Yung share niya sa profit 40,000 pesos Case number 4 Ratio of beginning capital balances So kapag beginning capital balances naman Ang basihan sa profit distribution Meaning titingnan natin yung beginning balance Nung period Which is January 1, capital balances kay C ay 40,000 and kay Q, 60,000 pesos. Kukunin natin yung ratio. So, yung ratio of beginning capital balances kay C ay 40 and kay Q, January 1, 60,000 pesos. C and Q. S and T yung code. 40,000 plus 60,000, total 100,000 pesos. Kay C, 60,000 na net income times 40,000 divided by 100,000 pesos. 60 times 40 divided by 
share ni C sa net income ay 24,000. Kay Chu, 60,000 times 60 divided by 100,000. 36,000 kay Chu. To record profit distribution, debit, income, summary, credit, C, and Q, drawing, accounts, income summary, 60,000, C, drawing, account, 24, yung share niya sa profit, and Q, drawing account, yung share niya sa profit, 36,000 pesos. Independent case number 5, ratio of ending capital balances naman. Meaning, yung ending capital balance ang i-consider natin sa profit distribution. How to compute ending capital balance? Capital balance beginning plus investment minus withdrawals. And since na yung profit ay hindi pa nadidistribute, hindi pa natin consider yung profit sa pagko-compute ng ending capital balances kasi i-distribute pa lang natin yung net income na 60,000 pesos. So ibig sabihin kapag ending capital balance ang i-consider sa profit distribution to compute the ending beginning capital plus investment minus withdrawals. Hanggang doon lang muna. Therefore, capital balances before profit distribution Nung December 31, 60,000 kay C and kay Chu, 100,000 pesos. Kukunin natin yung ratio ng capital, or sorry, ng ending capital balances. Ratio of ending capital balance. Kay C would be 60,000, kay Chu ay 100,000. 60,000 is to 100,000 ang ratio. 60 plus 100 equals 160,000 pesos. Therefore, mapupunta kay C would be 60,000 times 60 divided by 160 Profit share ni C ay 22,500 pesos. Kay Chu would be 60,000 times 100 divided by 160. Yun ay 37,500 pesos. Debit, income, summary, C and Q drawing accounts 60,000 kay C would be 22,500 and kay Q 37,500 pesos.